हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम टुडे आई गोइंग टॉक अबाउट द हार्ट बीट नॉर्मली व्हाट हैपेंस द हार्ट बीट बीट अराउंड सेवन टू टाइम्स इन ए मिनट सो वन बीट विल टेक अराउंड सिक्सटी परसेंट इंटू इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट एट फाइव सेकेंड्स सो द हार्ट बीट इज डिवाइडेड इंटू थ्री पार्ट्स दैट इज अरिकुलर स्टोल Then the ventricular systole and the joint diastole, where both the heart will be in resting phase. What happens in the auricular systole? The auricle will contract. The auricles will contract. Because of this contraction, the blood will go. The blood will pass into the ventricles. And this arterial systole phase is of. Point fifteen seconds only. Same way in ventricular systole, the ventricles contracts. So what happens because of the contraction of the ventricles, the blood will go into. Either it will go either into the pulmonary artery. in the case of uh, right ventricle and it, uh, it it may also go to the aorta in the case of left ventricle and after this auricular auricular systole and ventricular systole there will be a combined phase called joint diastole here all the four chambers all the four chambers of the heart will be relaxed will be in relaxed phase so there will be no contraction i forgot to tell you that this ventricular systole lasts for 0.3 seconds and the joint diastole lasts for see actually the total time required for a one heart cardiac cycle is 0.85 already 0.15 is taken by the auricular system then uh, 0.30 is taken by the ventricular system so total is 0.45 so 0.45 if you subtract from 0.85 you will get around 0.40 so this phase is the longest phase which lasts for 0.40 seconds if you want to memorize this one you can memorize like this 15 minus 15 15 to the 30 and the remaining one is The joint diastole. So remember, auricular systole lasts for 0.15 seconds, ventricular systole lasts for 0.30 seconds, and the diastole phase lasts for 0.40 seconds. Next, my topic is the origin, conduction, and regulation of the heartbeat. Means how the heartbeat is originated, and then how conduction occurs. Means how that heartbeat or that is pressed to the full part of the heart, and then how heartbeat is regulated. in what case the your heart rate will increase in what case your heart rate will decrease that we will study now first of all regarding the origin the origin of the heart rate starts from the sa node or the sino atrial node the sa node is also called as the sino arterial node so that's the origin that's why sa node also also called as the pacemaker i hope you got it what i am talking what happens after the sa node this conduction will lead to the various parts of the heart but first reach the at av node that is atrioventricular node and from the atrioventricular node it will go and ramify or divide into two branches the, uh, the first one is called the left one left branch or the uh, left bundle or we call this the right bundle or the right branch this part is called as the bundle of his where the ramification occurs and from here the bundle of his it will go 
the the right part will go to the right heart heart and then there will be further ramifications or further division which will be called as the purkinje fibers you will uh, the next uh, sometime will come to know what is purkinje fibers see i'll tell you uh, you can see this one this uh, diagram this one is purkinje fibers p u r k i n g e so th this expresses the conduction i explain again from sa node it goes to the av node from av node comes to the bundle of his bundle of his has got two branches and then each bundle of his will divide into purkinje fibers now comes uh you can see the diagram again you can see the sa node here in the right ventricular right, right atrium it's getting spread this is the av node av node here sorry and then bundle of his two parts and then it gets branched to either part of the heart side and then you can see small small branches which we call as the purkinje fibers then how the regulation occurs the regulation occurs either because of the either by the endocrine system wait either by the nervous system or by the endocrine system so nervous system and endocrine system controls the heartbeat remember if you are too much excited then your heart will be increase suddenly if you are angry then the endocrine system will come in function and then what happen the adrenaline secretion will come up adrenaline let me write it here so that you will understand so because of adrenaline adrenaline the heart pace will increase or the heart rate will increase more than 72 72 sometimes it may goes up to 120 even and nervous system because of some nervous 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 disorder or because of some pain if some pain comes then the nervous system will become activate and then the heart rate will increase i hope uh, till now i am able to explain